I'm Fox and this is your detailed guide to setting up your Algorand development environment on Windows. This will configure your workstation for Web3 development and bootstrap your first app on the Algorand blockchain. AlgoKit is the Algorand smart contract dev tool, combining Web3 infrastructure, toolchain, and project templates within a fully configured VS Code IDE to bootstrap your dApp. AlgoKit contains an integrated block explorer for the locally running Algorand network, a wallet manager with funded accounts, and tools to deploy and interact with your dApp throughout the development lifecycle. Let's get started with AlgoKit on Windows. I'm using the latest version of Windows 11, and I recommend you do the same. Click the Windows button, type about, and check your version and build. Algorand dev tooling requires at least minimum Windows 10, build 19.041 or newer. AlgoKit for Windows has the following prerequisites prior to installation. WSL2, Git, Docker, Python, and PipX. VS Code is a recommended IDE for use with AlgoKit. To get started, we recommend you install VS Code. It's free, open source software available from code.visualstudio.com. Locate the download button and run the installer. Select the defaults and launch VS Code once the installation completes. Open a new terminal window by selecting Terminal from the menu bar, then New Terminal. Git is the first prerequisite to check for. Issue the command git dash dash version. I don't have it installed, so I get this error message. To install, issue the command winget install dash e dash dash id git dot git, and the install wizard begins. Take all the defaults and when complete, Restart VS Code to a new terminal window. Again, issue the command git dash dash version and you will get a response. Any version is fine. Next, we must confirm the installation of Windows System for Linux version 2, or WSL2 for short. From your terminal prompt, run the command WSL minus L minus V. If you receive the WSL help output like this, you are ready to install. Type WSL dash dash install. Wait for the installation to complete, then restart your workstation. Windows will perform some updates, then automatically open the default Ubuntu distribution terminal window like this. It prompts you to assign a username of your choosing and the password. You may minimize the Ubuntu shell window, then reopen VS Code. Within a new terminal window, repeat the command WSL dash L dash V. Notice that my default is set to Ubuntu, it's running, and the version is set to 2. The next prerequisite is Docker. From your terminal prompt, issue the command docker version. Again, I don't have it installed, so I get this error message. To install, issue the command winget install dash e dash dash id docker dot docker desktop. The installer completes and prompts you to restart Windows to finalize the installation. Windows performs some updates and opens the Docker license page. Review and agree, then the Docker desktop dashboard is displayed. Docker is required to be running to enjoy the full benefits of AlgoKit, so just start VS Code again and reissue the command Docker version. This time, it responds as expected. Notice my Docker desktop version is newer than version 4.8 minimum requirement. Next up is verifying the installation of Python version 3.10 or higher. Issue the command python dash dash version. Python was not found, so issue the command when get install python dot python dot 3 dot 11 dash dash source when get. The installer takes care to add Python to your path, so just restart VS Code to realize this update. PipX is the final prerequisite to verify. Issue the command pipx dash dash version. I get an error message because it's not installed. To do so, issue python dash m pip install pipx. Now running the command pipx dash dash version, I get the expected result. Any version is fine. Finally, it's time to install AlgoKit. Issue the command pipx install AlgoKit. The installer completes and you're ready to build your first Algorand dApp. Building with AlgoKit has you initialize a dApp template from the library, bootstrap your toolchain, and compile the source code. Then start the Algorand infrastructure, configure your development wallet, and deploy the smart contract. 
Finally, you'll be able to interact with your DAP using the ABI Studio. From a new terminal window, issue the command algokit init. A handful of prompts guide you through selecting a template and bootstrapping the project. Here, I name my project and select the default values for the remaining prompts. The development toolchain is installed and configured within a virtual environment, so your project code remains isolated from everything else on your workstation. You are prompted to change directory to your project folder, then issue the command code dot. The first time you launch VS Code for your new project, AlgoKit asks you to confirm the installation of the recommended extensions. Select Install, then wait for each to complete. You may close these welcome screens, then click the code icon in the upper left nav pane and let's see how the code is organized. Expand the Smart Contracts folder, then open the helloworld.py file. Here is the template code for a simple application that expects a user to provide a string value and the smart contract will always return the string value hello concatenated with the past value. Compile the code as is by clicking the run and debug icon on the left nav pane then locate the green arrow at the top and click to compile. AlgoKit compiles this high-level language source code and outputs to two low-level language programs plus two JSON objects. These are found within the artifacts subdirectory. You will use these files when deploying your DAP just after we get the Algorand infrastructure up and running. Issue the command AlgoKit localnet start. This starts a local Algorand development blockchain where your DAP will reside. It normally takes less than one minute to start this local network. Now use the integrated block explorer to view more details about this network. Issue the command algokit explore. Your web browser opens the explorer site automatically configured to the algokit local net. Notice there are not yet any blocks nor transactions on this newly created network, so let's get to deploying your dApp. Recall that a Web3 user interface requires the use of a wallet to interact with a dApp. Along the left nav pane, click Dev Wallets. Here, click Create Wallet to generate a new, unfunded Algorand account. Use the Dispense button to add 10 test algo to this account. Now click the Connect Wallet button in the lower left corner. Select the Dev Wallet from the list of providers. Notice the wallet icon displays the address of the account you just dispensed funds to. Now click the ABI Studio button. This tool consumes the artifacts created during the compile process earlier. Click the Import ABI button. Switch to the File tab, then click the Upload File button. Navigate to your project folder, descend through Smart Contracts folder into Artifacts, and locate the contract.json file. This file contains the methods exposed by the smart contract and are rendered as a simple user interface for testing. Before you may interact with your method, you must install your smart contract program to the blockchain. Locate the Create App button, click the drop-down, and select Bear. The Create Application modal requests the storage schema values which we will set to zero. Then upload both the Approval program and the Clear program from the Artifacts folder of the project. Scroll to the bottom and click Create. The application is created successfully. Here, the app ID was assigned index2. Finally, click the Execute button from the Hello method. This method requires the user provide a string value for the name field. Click Execute and observe the response. Hello, AlgoDev. You executed your first smart contract on Algorand using AlgoKit. Nice work! We have many more videos to expand on what this contract does and how you can build more complex logic.